the Lego Zombie Attack, Episode 2. Enjoy. Outside of the house. Well, due to the flesh-eating zombies, we're probably going to have to leave our home. Well, the news says we can't leave our homes. Who cares? We have to finish off this apocalypse. And plus, I know how all of this happened. Who, well, who did this? Yeah, get it over with. I want to know who did it. Alright. You see, a long ago, long ago, there was this m mad scientist. That, um, I actually worked in this lab before, um, I actually worked in this lab when, um, uh, when I was around 20 years old, and I was hired by a dude named, named Dr. Dr. Fringle Sheets, Fringle Sheets, his name's Dr. Fringle Sheets, ouch, yeah, his name's Dr. Fringle Sheets, and I was hired by him, and eventually, I kind of liked my job at first, but then over the next few years, I was fired for some strange reason. And I don't know why. And, but I actually wanted to be fired. What? Why? Yeah, why? Well, because I hated my job in the first place, and I don't even know why I did it. I was pretty stupid at that time. Yeah, you probably were. Yeah. But anyways... He, he has created a virus that has actually turned the world into flesh-eating zombies. So, I know the way to the laboratory. It's about 20 to 30 miles away from here. And we, well, actually not 20 to 30 miles. It might take us a few days to get to the laboratory. Days? Yeah, pretty much. And... He's basically created a virus that has turned the world into flushing zombies. I mentioned that earlier ago. Yeah, you did. Oh, my gosh. And so he's created a virus that actually makes the zombies alive. But if we destroy the virus, the zombies will be basically killed. So that will basically stop the end of the world. Alright then, I'm fine with that. Wait, you guys are down? Yeah, I like all the viruses. <laughs> Let's do this. Okay, so if you're getting more weird by the minute. <sighs> but first, when we go to the laboratory, we're gonna have to deal with a few infected. Oh yeah, let's get going. Alright, the first few infected are deal with. Now let's head over to the laboratory. Wait, do we have a car or something? Uh, we kinda had a car, but it was kinda taken down from a storm that was a few weeks ago. What? Okay then. Then I guess we're screwed. Well, we have weapons at least. I don't care if we have weapons. I just want this virus to be over with. Well, we have to finish off the virus in order to get it over with. Ugh, fine, I'll deal with this virus. Gee, what is wrong with you people?
Come on, Mike, let's go. With the, with the group of survivors. Mike, how long have we been walking? Uh, I say it for probably an hour, I guess. An hour? Ha. I'm just joking. We already just walked like a few feet away from our house. Whoa, there's the highway. This highway doesn't seem so bad. I mean, it kind of looks pretty abandoned, but I guess it'll do. Guys, I don't exactly think we should come onto this highway. Oh, come on, Mike. What possibly makes you think that you don't want to come on this highway? Yeah, what makes you think that? Well, I mean, the highway could be probably filled with infected. So any slight sound, it'll probably wake up the infected. Well, I still think we're going to walk through here, so. Which way to the laboratory? Um, I think the laboratory is this way. God, he's right. Hmm. Ow. <gasps> oh no. <laughs> Ow. Lee, what's wrong, Mike? Sophie, what have you done? Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Alright, I took care of it. There was only like three infected people right there. Let's keep moving. Or actually, I don't think so. We should just keep not keep going. Um. Yeah, I think he's right. I mean, obviously, it. You said it would take a few days to get to the laboratory, so obviously, I think we should wait the night here. Okay. Let's just guessing I'm sit let's just sit down I guess. <laughs> to be continued.